Welcome to the Net Zero Regenerative Farm Project. I'm your host, Bob King. This is going to be an introduction high-level overview. The overview will be used to also produce other videos in a continuing series of videos about this project. We'll start off with the project team. First member is Desiree Scott, horticulturist from Texas A&M, cattle rancher at the Eight Bar Ranch in Burns, Colorado, an expert in aquaculture and greenhouse operations, also worked on the experimental farms in Texas A&M during her master's degree courses. Second team member is Joshua Kane, biochemist at the University of Texas Arlington, residential and commercial solar design engineer in the Dallas-Fort Worth area where he does design work in, on residential and commercial buildings. He's also an amateur vegetable gardener, which is how he got involved in this project. Finally, myself, Bob Kane, I'm a computer engineer, system designer and project manager, and I worked as a consultant at a number of corporations, such as American Airlines, Blockbuster, Microsoft, and Priceline. Owner and manager of Systems Research International and Software Consulting and Application Design Company. The project objectives are, a, the primary objective is to use organic, biodynamic, and permaculture design principles to combine already existing off-the-shelf equipment and proven systems in synergetic ways to create an efficient, protect, productive, and profitable self-sustaining regenerative farm. The secondary objective is to create a step-by-step -step detailed blueprint on how this can be done to enable the creation of a series of these farms using this template to supply the local population and provide employment opportunities. The blueprint will be organized in such a way that already existing farms can adopt parts of the plan to phase in these concepts to improve their current operations. The project components consist of a project planning system, farm production and identification and selection system, product marketing systems, product management and support systems, other revenue generating services, key line design and land management system, renewable energy management systems. To continue, zero waste management systems, agricultural management systems, animal management systems, human resources management systems, financial and accounting systems, product processing systems, environmental monitoring systems, project planning system component is a planning system using Microsoft Project to develop schedules, assign resources to tasks, track the progress of all the tasks, manage the budget, and analyze the workloads. The transition of the farm design elements to the project plan has been completed. Update of project plan to reflect the changes in design is still ongoing. The next component is farm product identification and selection. These products consist of cattle, cattle products, chicken products, pig products, fish products, rabbit products, lamb products, animal feed products, and continue on the next slide, solar power products, wind power products, aquaponic and greenhouse products, field crop products, sawmill products, biochar products, forest products, farm waste management products, the product marketing system component has marketing goals of Identify all possible farm product categories. Apply the, the following marketing, print, marketing principles to each product identified. Market analysis, customer analysis, competitor analysis, market strategy, market road, market road mapping. 
continued. The product marketing system continued slide. Further, further marketing goals are to set up, set web store and social media accounts to market product over the internet. Set up a community supported agriculture CSA group for pre-sales and product. Set up departments to market and distribute to local markets and restaurants and farmers markets. The product management support systems component. The goals are to set up these support systems in anticipation of need, customer support, product support, sales support, and engineering support. Other gener revenue generating system sys services component, purchase and set up mobile FDA certified processing trailer to butcher animals at local farm, locations to set up trucking animals to remote processor or to remote feedlots for sale, purchase and set up modular cut and wrap facility for added va value added processes. Forms community supported uh, agricultural CSA groups for pre-sales of product. Set up farm store to sell to walk-in and pu public and ser in service CSA customers. Set up self-contained mobile trailer stores to go to farmers markets. Develop restaurant to sell prepared food to walk-in customers and also feed employees. Work with the BLM and Forest Service to integrate other methods of land improvement to improve adjacent areas, for example, conversion of insect damaged trees and dense forest hazard underbrush, dense fire hazard underbrush into biochar to enrich the, the land. Key line design component is a key line design system is a comprehensive farmland and water management system using natural landscape contours and cultivation techniques to manage groundwater, rainwater, fencing, tree lines, road locations, building placement, and building placement to help integrate the farm resources and assist in building up soil fertility. The system's underlying goals are create a healthy watershed, enhance stream and pond environments, Recharge groundwater, control flooding, control sedimentation rates, minimize soil erosion, enhance soil fertility, sequester carbon. The next component is a renewable energy management system. The renewable energy management system that organizes already existing off the shelf equipment and already proven technology in new ways, creating a combined hybrid renewable energy system that will be uh, used to achieve these goals. Reduce farm need for conventional grid energy by creating, storing, and reusing renewable energy sources, thus reducing farm operating costs. Also, use any surplus renewable energy to generate new farm income from energy production and sale, such as net meeting or sales to other farms as a utility. These energy sources include methane gas from biodigesters, syn gas from biochar kilns, electricity generated from dual fuel driven backup generators, electricity generated from solar panels, electricity generated from wind turbines. The, the next component is a zero waste management system. The system uses existing equipment and technology to create an integrated waste management system to achieve these goals. Reduce or eliminate farm waste from animal waste, human waste from septic tanks and kitchens and household, plant waste from greenhouse and field crops, aquaculture or fish related waste products, pastured cleared weeds and fire prone scrub brush and insect infested trees. The continuation of the zero waste management system is the, here are the environmentally, benef environmentally benef beneficial side effects, which are reduce greenhouse grass and gas emissions and sequester them as nutrients in the soil and use them to produce needed energy, reduce surface and groundwater pollution from sources like commercial fertilizer, septic tanks, and pesticides, collect waste products from, from the sale of our products which are delivered to local entities like restaurants and stores to 
to be picked up and recycled at farm to improve the local environment and generate income from recycling these wastes, improve the soil quality and nutrient content of pastures. The next component is the agricultural management system. The agricultural management system is an alternative agricultural approach that includes organic and biodynamic farming techniques to create sustainable crop production. The system has these goals. Emphasize the use of manures and compost and exclude the use of synthetic fertilizers. Treat soil fertility animals and crops in a single ecological interrelated system. Emphasize local production and, and distribution of products. And to continue, the agricultural management system will also use traditional methods to develop new local breeds and varieties of plants and animals. Use agricultural multi-cropping in which a wide variety of plant species are grown on one piece of land. Use companion plants and cover crops to provide shade and increase water retention in the soil. Utilize crop rotation to ensure that the soil has time to regenerate and maintain, it, maintain health over time. Implement multi-species rotational grazing to improve the soil biome and surrounding ecosystem. The next component of the animal is the animal management system. The animal management system is designed to use natural animal behavior like multi-species rotational grazing to improve animal health, farm field health and productivity. The system has these goals. General, uh, generate a way to manage and adopt to, to the effects of extreme weather events and climate changes to maximize the use of available land. Use a mix of livestock and poultry rotated through the fields to encourage increased forage growth and work with each other and the animals work with each other to control pest disease and parasites. Eliminate use of pesticides to control pest diseases and parasites. The next component is the human resources management system, which is the goal is to offer fair wage for work being performed, provide bonus pay for performance based on farm productivity, provide a farm improvement feedback suggestion mechanism with rewards, provide free meals for workers while on the job, offer at cost food for employees to purchase for home use, In continuation, create new range of farm jobs from entry level to skilled higher paid jobs in an area of high unemployment and structure a pathway where workers can advance from unskilled to skilled through on the job training. Create better working conditions in the form of fair wages and elimination, eliminating worker exposure to harmful pesticides and chemical fertilizers. Offer affordable health insurance and other benefits. Offer wellness screening with metrics so workers know their health profile. Offer health and wellness counseling to improve workers' health profile. The financial and accounting systems component. It's set up to secure, it's a set up a secure computer system to process everything. Set up accounting systems using QuickBooks to track all financial activity. Set up cryptocurrency accounts to allow transactions in a variety of cryptocurrencies and conversion to, uh, conversion to local fiat currencies. Set up payroll system to allow paying in local currency or cryptocurrencies. Set up payroll system, payable system to allow paying in local currency or cryptocurrencies. Set up receivable system to allow payment in, in, to be in local currency or cryptocurrencies. Set up, I set up a web store to allow internet payments in local currency or cryptocurrencies. Open up bank accounts and credit lines. The next component is the product processing system. Its goals are to set up processing facilities, repair all products for shipping and deli or delivery. To set up storage facilities for farm products, seeds, roots, and other items. Set up mobile processing for trailer facilities. Set up modular cut and wrap facility. Set up a miniature sawmill. The next component is the environmental monitoring system. Its goal is to set up secure microcomputer systems and databases to capture and process all sensor input and output. Set up Wi-Fi and wired networks to interconnect everything to central processing system. 
Set up secure restricted access to central system and all internet to internet and all components that require it. And finally, here's a simplified net zero regenerative farms uh, high level diagram and overview.